Hello, beautiful soul family. Rebecca here, your vibe mentor, bringing you another video on how to raise your vibration so you can live your best life. Let's talk today about the number one thing that holds light workers back. And even if you don't identify as a light worker, maybe a seeker, I think seeker might be the word. We're, we're working towards something that I feel resonates with this community and that I think these messages are for you, right? And Seeker covers the vast different phases that we can be in. And the number one thing that I think holds everyone back, but especially Seekers and Lightworkers, is unmet needs. Now, it can be very subtle. We think my needs are met, but if you're not where you want to go, if you are struggling to do the things you know you should do or want to do, you feel like you know here, but you can't quite get the subconscious on board and there's that self-sabotage that holds you back or keeps you from your purpose or keeps you stuck in you know, a, a corporate job or an unhealthy relationship, likely this is the cause. And so stick with me for a couple minutes as I help you sort of uncover how this can show up because it can be very subversive. So remember, if you are a seeker, if you have that feeling, that yearning for something more, there's got to be something more in my life, and I just can't quite figure out what it is. It is your purpose. You are made perfectly imperfect for your purpose. Everything about you was made with intention. There is not a single aspect of you that is bad, wrong, or broken, or deserving of being fractured off or rejected. Now, this is where your needs come in. Your needs are part of your design. If you are made perfectly imperfect for your purpose, the thing you need, the thing you feel like there's just something wrong if I don't have peace and quiet for an extended period of time, at least once a day. If there is something that you need, if you need to listen to music while you study, if you need to go for that walk, maybe three times a day, maybe that's why you got a dog. If that's something that you need to be happy, to feel comfortable, to feel alive, to feel content, to feel peace, to feel rested, to feel wholeness, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Your needs are valid. You deserve to have your needs met. If you are in a toxic relationship and you say, I need this thing, and they say, what's wrong with you? You're crazy. You shouldn't ask for so much. That is a problem, and it is the relationship that is a problem or the way that person is treating you that is a problem, not your needs. When we grow up in a place where we didn't feel safe, seen, heard, cared for, or loved for an extended period of time, either in childhood or in a toxic relationship at any point in life, we come to a place where we believe that who I am and what I need is a problem. And that could not be further from the truth. That is what I like to call the unworthiness wound or the not enoughness wound. It can show up as the lack mentality. It can show up as fear of being seen, fear of rejection, people pleasing, overgiving, the list goes on. But ultimately at the end of the day, healing is recognizing that you are valuable. You are worthy. You are needed just as you are. There is nothing wrong with you and you deserve to have your needs met. In fact, that yearning, that desire, the thing that drives you to seek for something that you just can't quite put your finger on is facilitated, is nourished, is the thirst is quenched by meeting your needs. Your needs will lead you to your purpose. I like to say joy is your compass. This is another way of saying it. And this is not a bag of potato chips and, and vegging on the couch, watching binge watching an entire Netflix series. That is not what I'm talking about. Maybe you need some quiet time, but do what you want is not a, not a healthy mantra. Do what you need is a little more aligned to your design, your divine design. And that is the name of the game. That is how we quench that thirst that is the yearning is to align with your divine design and that has a beautiful ring to it <laughs> i must admit thank you not mine okay so you cannot be effective you cannot do the thing that you were brought here to do if you don't have your needs met 
high vibration comes from met needs. This is what holds us back. We like to tell ourselves, oh, I'll, I'll come to a logical stopping point before I'll go to the restroom. Oh, I must finish the grocery shopping and get home before I eat some food, even though I'm starving and my blood sugar is low. We reject our needs. We push them out. We love this person so much and subconsciously they remind us of our parent who didn't validate us and so we cling to them and hope for one day their willingness or desire to meet our needs will come to heal the trauma bond the wound that we developed as a child from that parent that didn't validate us so we reject and deny our needs we self-abandon these are examples of how we don't meet our needs in our daily life. And I'd be willing to bet as soon as you start to pay attention to this, you're going to notice how often in a day you deny a need. How often do you go to the restroom right when you need to go? How often do you get that glass of water when you're thirsty? How often do you eat when you're hungry? How often do you push these things off? Instead of resting when you're tired, you go get a cup of coffee. When someone offers to buy you something, you say, oh, no, I can't accept that. How often do you insist on going it alone? One man on an island, carrying the weight of the world and believing it's all up to you. There is no support. I cannot accept support. It's not safe to ask for help. The gap between you and your needs being met is the same exact gap between you and your happiness, you and your success, you and your purpose, you and your fulfillment, you and your freedom. This is the key. And it goes a step beyond this. It can be greater than just the physical needs. It, it ties directly into Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Every single layer of that pyramid needs to be met. We need, yes, the basics like food and water and shelter. We need relationships. We need connection. We need purpose. We need self-actualization. This is, again, part of the human condition. We all have a highest potential, our best life. That's why I lead with that. And your highest potential, your highest self will continue to call to you. And it will feel a bit like an uncomfortable annoyance until we start to pay attention and follow the path that we were designed for. Not only do you deserve to have your needs met, but God's source, divine creator, universe, whatever word you want to use, needs you to have your needs met. Again, you are not an accident. You are not here by happenstance. You are made with intention. And I know that there's something in you that knows that to be true. When they say that resonates, that feeling of yes, that is truth. That resonates in your body. There's a frequency and a vibration to truth. And as the words touch your body, your body knows. I am made with purpose. Even though the trauma demon might sit on your shoulder and tell you otherwise, oh no, who are you to think? Who are you to think you're something special? You don't have purpose. If she knew the real you, she wouldn't say that. That is the hallmark of the trauma voice. So if you are made with purpose and intention by the consciousness that is proven scientifically to exist, if your atoms and particles shift because they are now being observed as a divine, perfectly made being, you are stepping towards your purpose, your calling, your potential. And in order to do that, if this divine conscious being created you just the way you are for a certain purpose, 
and your needs are part of that design, part of that creation. Aligning to your divine design incorporates having your needs met. So the divine wants you to be happy. The divine needs you to have your needs met. In order for you to do what you were brought here to do, you get to be happy. You need to be happy. That is what it means to have a high vibration. Look at the Hawkins scale of consciousness. Fear, lack, they are very, very low vibrations and frequencies that can be measured. You can even feel it. You know, if you're happy, you feel like you're flying high, you're vibrating high. That's where you're most effective. <laughs> you cannot be effective or happy without having your needs met. I made some sticky notes that are sitting next to the camera there if you see me looking up. So it's beautiful the way that it flows through and I don't always have to check those notes. Now, the last thing will come up is Again, that trauma voice, a little trauma demon sitting on your shoulder. And there's also a, a little positive voice on the other side to counterbalance. But when we have not healed, the trauma voice can outweigh the others. And yes, we are all made of parts. You are not crazy. There's a psychological um, theory of the parts. So it is known and that is okay. That's a video for another day. But the trauma demon, trauma voice will try to tell you, you, you can't have your needs met. I can't leave this relationship. I can't leave this job. I can't make more money. I can't find sunshine when I'm stuck in the Midwest after two weeks of gloomy, cloudy days. But there is always a way. There's always a way. And the beauty is, it's not up to us. We don't have to go it alone. All we have to do is acknowledge God, source, creator, divine universe, whatever word you want to use, is working and conspiring in your favor every day and in every way. And so being the design that you are, you are a powerful being, you are a creator made in the likeness of your creator. You have the ability to ask a question. How can I find sunshine today? How can I find the path to my purpose? How can I meet this need? Remember, when you say I can't, as a creator, you have built a wall between you and the thing that you seek. But when you say, how can I? You have opened a door. And then sit back with curiosity and watch how the answers are delivered to you. It may not be instantaneously, but as long as you don't choose that perspective of, see, it didn't work for me, it will come. Your job from there is to allow it. Start to cultivate a more healthy relationship with yourself, your inner voice. Recognize that inner critic or trauma demon, name him, flick him off your shoulder and say, not today, not today. Focus on your heart. Breathe into your heart. Your heart is designed to regulate your system, including your mind. And it will help you keep things under control. I, of course, have a whole lot more to share on that, but I will cut it here. If you are looking for help, if you are struggling with that belief of not enoughness, the lack mentality, the blocks that keep you from your purpose, that is my purpose. Your purpose is my purpose. And I am here to help you. I do something called brain spotting. It is a proven trauma therapy that works. It is the only thing that worked so well for me. I went out and got trained in it. And I would love to offer that to you. I do offer free 30 minute sessions to get you started on your journey. The link is below. With that, I will close. I love you all so very, very much. And I will see you on the next video. Namaste, my friends. Take care. Have a beautiful and blessed day.